Joining me today, it's been a busy start to the semester, so I haven't put out any content lately, but I wanted to talk about corporate psychopathy. I'm reading a good book. I'll put that in the comment uh, section below. And let's look at this from four domains. If we're looking at characteristics from four domains and what this might look like, and I really welcome your comments because we're also writing a chapter about this. So I look forward to hearing what you have to say. The interpersonal domain, folks high in corporate psychopathy would be unethical and manipulative, um, very good at being charming, using superficial charm to manipulate and get their way, very deceitful, maybe the kind that pad, at the very least, pad their expense accounts. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, affective, insensitive and callous. These folks will throw people under the bus without the least bit of remorse or guilt. They have kind of a cynical worldview, so they feel like everybody's out for the take, and if they can get something on somebody, they'll do it. Lifestyle, they're unfocused and unreliable. This doesn't mean they can't be intelligent. This doesn't mean that they can't make money. They tend to do it in manipulative ways, but they're much more centered with immediate gratification and versus long-term vision and goals. And then lastly, antisocial, the behavior of antisocialness <laughs> is um, they're intimidating and aggressive and they will threat, they will make threats to get their way. Now, I like to think of psychopathy, and there'll be people that'll argue with this, is on a continuum. Um, we do know that this is so from low to high. And, you know, with criminal psychopathy, there is like a cutoff score on, on a lot of the different assessments that are used. But I think that this can be, uh, you know, at s more subtle levels um, where we can experience this. And that's related to, there does appear to be good research suggesting that there's neurological differences in folks that are high in psychopathy or somewhere higher on that spectrum. And maybe one day we'll have treatments, but in the meantime, we need to have good boundaries. We need to make sure that I wouldn't want to hire somebody like this. So there are good assessments for this. So again, let me know about your comments. We're working on a chapter and it's really helpful to get your feedback. All right, good people. Take good care and we'll talk to you on the next video.